What's up everyone and welcome back to SW Bricks and Figs. Today is part one of building the Jedi Temple. I'm really excited for this one. Um, I actually get a decent amount of progress done. Uh, but first I'm going to show you some of the details of the mock and the layout and stuff that I'm basing it off of. Uh, so you get a better idea for what I'm going to be building. But make sure you stay tuned for the entire video uh, to see exactly what I get done in today's episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. But let's jump right in with the video. So what good mock building series doesn't start with some good old drawings? So uh, this is kind of the overall look. Obviously it won't make as much sense to you as it does to me. Obviously this is more of just a sketch for me. Um, but basically each one of these, this is a grey base plate here, this is another grey base plate. Um, I was planning on having a little bit on the end but I probably won't now I'm having this sort of rounded area on this end. Um, so and then these are the three green base plates. So the plan is to have um, a sort of curved landing platform uh, which is where the gunship lands. I'll show you a picture on screen right now uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about a bit more over on the mock in a second. Uh, then uh, don't uh, include these stairs. I was going to have sort of the stairs leading up to the Jedi Temple but then uh, I realized it didn't really make sense with regards to the actual layout of the mock because um, uh, the scene I wanted to recreate was the scene from Battlefront 2 uh, from the 2005 game uh, which I know a lot of you might be familiar with um, but yeah the main room didn't actually lead on to the stairs so I was going to do that but then I thought no scrap that I'm going to go for a landing platform uh, because it will look awesome with the gunship and everything here so um, basically there's going to be a couple of pillars here um, and you go into the inside this is just sort of some uh, floor designs I was mapping out uh, and then as we go along there's going to be these big pillars on either side um, I, as I'll go through I'll probably be showing pictures of what I'm talking about on screen uh, as I go but these are going to be the pillars uh, some of them you see in the game have been demolished or are falling down, that sort of thing. Uh, then either side there'll be these sort of stairs every now and then. I think it'll probably go um, stairs, like then a break, then stairs. And in between the stairs there'll be sort of like an entrance down into uh, where I could possibly do rooms along the sides uh, here. Because on the... Um, in the game you have these sort of like little war rooms with some briefing rooms, some hollow tables, that sort of thing. Um, so that's just another thing I could add underneath the sort of steps and then on the sides there'll be the steps uh, which will be in dark red and tan as you can see there. Then at the end um, you have these big steps going up at the back as well um, which lead to the sort of actual main Jedi Council room which we see in the films. Um, which in the game is right here, but I'm not sure whether I will have enough space to add it yet, but that is the plan. So either I'll just have the sort of steps going up, uh, then in the game there's a corridor, which I could do a small version of, and then the actual room if I can. If not, I'll just sort of have it ending on the stairs or even on the corridor, because uh, in the game there's a set of stairs, then a corridor, then some stairs again up into the Jedi Council room. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure, 100%, nothing set in, set in stone yet, so I'm still looking for ideas from you guys if you want to submit any. Uh, let me know but the first thing I'll probably do is go and show you all of these plans over on the actual mock uh, so you can get a better glimpse for what I am talking about. So to get a general idea for the size of the mock and uh, exactly what's going to be going on uh, this is the sort of layout uh, obviously there will be three uh, green base plates I'll probably go pick up some of them tomorrow uh, but yeah but it's going to be two uh, grey base plates and three green base plates long uh, with this sort of curved extra bit on the end which I'll tell you a bit more about in a minute. Uh, but basically what's, what it's going to be is going to be a landing platform here with a gunship um, sort of unloading. If you've ever played the uh, 2005 Battlefront game, you'd, you'd see this sort of outside area of the map. Uh, it's just a small area here with this sort of platform here. And then um, I think it will come to about here. Then there'll be these big pillars um, which will go up here. And then this, the rest of it will be the internal. So this internal section here with some stairs at the end, they're going uh, up towards sort of like the main Jedi Council room, uh, which won't be in the mock, but it'll be sort of where it is. Uh, this will be like the main bit here with the knocked over pillars and stuff like that, uh, which I think is gonna look pretty awesome. But yeah, let's get into uh, the first thing I'm gonna work on, which is the uh, sort of exterior bit of this curved platform. Uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky, but let's get into it. So the first technique that I came up with uh, with regards to creating the curved wall was using this piece here, uh, this sort of like hinge piece that LEGO creates um, and create it into a sort of chain like this with the plated version as you can see in the middle there uh, and then have some two one by twos on top. Uh, however, the problems I ran into with this was connecting it to the actual platform would be tricky uh, as well as sort of keeping a general shape is a bit hard with this, it, can't, it sort of 
bends in places and keeps straight in other places as well as it just sort of looks a bit plain and boring. So the second technique I went for was more of a sort of snot technique. Uh, I used these sort of uh, hinge pieces and put plates on the outside. Obviously they would have been uh, light bluish gray, but this wasn't uh, a great technique either. I didn't really like the look of it. Um, obviously I could have added more detail than I did to the other one, um, but it still runs into the same problem of how I sort of connect it to the uh, sort of platform that will be where the actual uh, gunship will land on. So the tiled off sort of platform that will be sort of inside of the half circle, if you know what I mean. Um, so in the end, I actually ended up creating a third technique, which I will show you now. So then in the end, I think this is the technique I am going for. So this is a technique where I've sort of stacked the uh, one by two plates and um, one by one studs as well as sort of bricks and um, the sort of cylindrical pieces uh, on top of each other like this. Uh, and it will curve in to make a nice little pattern. Uh, I'll show you how this will fit in the mock in a minute. Obviously, I'm only about halfway, th well, not even halfway uh, to the amount of pieces that I need. Obviously, I've just replaced these pieces with other pieces uh, in different colors. But um, yeah, and then basically there's going to be these um, one by two. I think they're modified tiles with um, with the pl with the um, studs on one side. Uh, so these will go out across on top of the um, on top of the tiles to sort of make uh, cover some of the gaps and make it a bit more flush. But I'll show you how that looks uh, over on the mock now. So this is what I have managed to come up with uh, so far. Obviously, don't take into account the colours of some of the bricks, like these ones here. Um, these will all be replaced when uh, when I do finish. It's just sort of working out whether this technique works or not. Um, but the problem I had was with all three of these techniques that I've showed you, you end up with these huge cracks here. Um, but this is what this sort of thing is for. Uh, so as you can see, uh, if you actually look at some of the um, pictures from Battlefront, you see this sort of dark gray um, sort of line just on the inside of the, the wall. So it kind of works perfectly. Um, so here is what it looks like. So I have it all tiled, obviously. Uh, and then up here is all of these... Um, these will overlap onto it just to sort of cover most of the gaps. Obviously, you'll still see some holes like here. Uh, there's occasional ones, but um, I think overall it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think of the co in the comments. I can obviously still change this um, as I go. But um, yeah, I'm going to work on the other half once the other bricks arrive. Uh, and yeah, I'll get back to you once I have some more things to update you on. So uh, the next thing I did was go to the Lego shop uh, nearest me, which is, that happens to be a Smith's Toys. Uh, and I picked up the remaining to uh, green base plates, which will go there and there. So let's get them unboxed and in place just like that. So there we go. Um, it's interesting, one thing I did notice was that Lego has changed its color for the um, sort of green base plates, which I found quite interesting. I don't know why they've done that, but um, yeah, it's my first time buying one of them in a long time. So uh, pretty good to get them in place. Obviously I won't be building on them for a few weeks or so at least, because uh, I will be starting from the front and working my way back. Uh, but yeah, that is um, pretty interesting to see them in place and to see exactly how the mock is going to be now uh, size-wise. Um, it's good to finally get a glimpse of the uh, entire size. Obviously, um, quite messy here, guys. I've been working uh, on some of the techniques I've been doing, so there's a bit of pieces scattered everywhere. But yeah, that is about how big the uh, entire mock will be in total. So that will just about wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, guys. Um, that I managed to get a decent amount of progress done. I'm happy I managed to get that curved wall technique uh, decided in the end and uh, get all the pieces of that ordered, ready to go for next week. But um, yeah, it should be really fun. I'm really excited to carry on building. Uh, so if you haven't already, go subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that big red subscribe button, make it into a gray one and uh, become a member of the channel. Uh, it'd be really good to see you over here again. Um, definitely turn that post notification bell on if you haven't as well so you don't miss out on part two when it drops, probably next Saturday. Um, and if you haven't already, go leave a like on the video because it really does help the video out and help me out on the channel. But yeah, thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you next week. Goodbye.